So let's see the Valorant patch notes from them for 8.08. We're going to start off with the Cypher changes. So Trapwire, Rearm, time increase from 1 second to 2 seconds, mainly aimed at probably lower elos that were struggling to kind of deal with the trap after it had been, uh, like after it had been, uh, had, been had been set off. Um, Slowing the Trapwire, reduced from 2 seconds to 1.25 seconds. It just means that the Cypher needs to be a bit more proactive around their players. They're going to lose out on some kills potentially, at least some bad Cyphers are because of this slow change. But for the most part, it shouldn't be that impactful. Um, spy cam, enemies now hear looping audio when they are actively being watched by Cypher from within the spy cam. So this is the biggest change for Cypher and to me, I don't like this change. The reason why I don't like this change is because it takes away skill from both players, from both sides of the the, the, uh, the teams, right? From both both players involved. So the Cypher loses at all in their arsenal, loses a, 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 like a facet of their, their skill expression. They can't use this play, they can't use like some, some certain cams basically um, to... Do what they want to do to to actively see someone that they don't know they're being watched um which is kind of funny because it's called spy cam and funnily enough you can't really spy on people with it now it's kind of weird um which is kind of funny um and on the flip side as well it's kind of a skill to know and to read when the cypher is going to put a cam down like this and i think it's a skill that's going to get robbed of the player base now where no one needs to learn it because it's going to be given to us for free so to me I don't really like it because it's what it does is essentially like giving the skill for free. So it's lowering the skill of the players themselves while not showing it to the to the game. If that makes sense, because they have the skill for free to the game, but they don't actually have that skill as a player. So it's very weird to me. Like these types of changes, I've seen these changes all the way through um, my time looking at league league as well. So to me, it's not really that surprising in some ways, but it's also quite annoying that they still do changes that like like this where they take skill or give give a free skill to, to people while also taking away skill expression from someone else. It's just very, very annoying to me. See those types of changes. So Toxic Screen and Poison Cloud um, for Viper. Maximum time on each individual smoke source reduced 15 seconds to 13.5 seconds to 12 seconds. So basically these, were, these are the two numbers we want to look at because this was the shadow nerf, I think. Um, and then this is 13.5 to 12 seconds. But it actually is the nerf for this patch. So... It basically just means that the smoke is up for less. It, it, it's literally the same as, uh, I think, Clove Smokes um, and Astra Smoke. Definitely Astra Smokes. So, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's actually quite crazy how big of a nerf this is from 15 to 12, like, in that, over that span of time. Um, because a lot of this as well, if you think about it, Viper was using a lot of the smoke resource to, to lurk, right? And this essentially means that you lose timings because you have less time to get to those those areas or that, that position right you have 12 seconds worth of getting to a timing basically when you're playing it for like a lurk right and before you had 15 seconds so you could have made a lot more ground in the space that the smoke was pressuring someone if that makes sense so you are losing a lot of pressure when you're lurking uh, from this as well potentially um whether it matters between the 1.5 seconds decrease maybe at the higher uh, at like the higher levels of play I don't think it means that much for anyone else. It does mean a lot for like uh, lower elos for vipers um, in lower elos probably, or maybe not a lot, but it lo matters a decent amount in like breeze uh, where you actually need the viper for the main smokes. Minimum fuel needed to activate smoke increase from twenty percent to thirty percent. It just basically means you need to be a bit more careful. It also uh, like when you actually use all your all your smokes. Um, it also means as well that there are situations where flooding the viper is better. Like flooding has been. Uh, has got like an extra 10% worth of the fuel window to actually flood the Viper without the smokes coming back up. Um, so there is that as well. Whether that actually becomes a strategy to deal with Viper in post or something like that, that could be interesting, but I don't know yet. Um, especially because the Poison Cloud is also not movable. So they are going to be using it in like specific positions now. It's not going to be moved around a whole lot. Um, it's going to be interesting. I will talk about it in a second. Cooldown on reactivating smokes after putting them down has been reduced from 8 seconds to 5.5 .5 to 5 seconds. Um, so, yeah, I think this is also like a change that doesn't really matter a huge amount now. And I think this change is basically just there because this got changed. Um, it's just going to affect the timings you can take, potentially. And that's it, um, really. Uh, as I said as well, like it's, it can also add pressure as well uh, when you're taking these timings to constantly put it up and down. But for the most part, especially with the recent change, like 5.5 .5 to 5 seconds, like it's not going to be very different. Um, poison Cloud... Um, can now be only picked up during the buy phase. Can now only be picked up during the buy phase. I thought I read it wrong for a second. 
Yeah, okay. So this change is probably the biggest change for Viper, or one of the biggest changes for Viper. Honestly, the Snake Bite one is pretty big too. But this change is pretty big because it basically takes away the element that kind of Gecko has, where you can use a lot of the U like you can constantly use your Util throughout the round. Um and so they're basically keeping it so only fuel is reactivatable for Viper and you can't pick up the cloud. Um and I think this is actually a good change. The reason why I think this is a good change is because I think that this makes the player make a choice. And this is one of the biggest things when you're looking out for changes to the game, is that you want to be able to give your players skill expression and the ability to make the choices. Now I think that there is going to be some fraud watches for Vipers that don't know when to pick which mode to play Viper in. So what I mean by mode is I mean like the lurk mode or like the main smokes mode, which obviously sometimes you're going to have to, you're forced into doing. Um, because you are the only smoke on your team but there are going to be times where you have to play main smokes mode or like the lurking mode or like the post plant mode basically a viper and before you could do all three feasibly in a round right you can keep replacing the orb so you can technically do all three but now you have to make that choice you have to make a choice which one of these is going to is the poison cloud going to do um and i think that's actually a really good change i think it's a really good change to show skill expression um and to stop players just basically getting, like free value um, like by constantly replacing it and honestly it was overall like don't get me wrong it, it took some skill to know when to pick it up when to change the phase basically when not change the phase change the the the, um, the mode of viper you're going for it definitely took some time like knowing which timing in the round to to change uh, this stuff it did take some skill but i think this takes more skill to know going into the round how you want to play the round out i think this makes this takes a lot more skill um to play around than the Viper that has this available, right? That has the ability to pick it up. So I do think this is actually like a really big change, but I also think it's a good change. And that's as someone that plays Viper, I do play Viper and it sucks to lose this. But at the same time, it makes me think that other Vipers in my position, if I know what I'm doing with this, then I'm going to outperform all the other Vipers, um, which is really good. Uh, Snake Bite. So uh, charges reduced from two to one. Price increase from 200 to 300 and duration increase from 5.5 to 6.5. Wow. So they lose four. So you lose what? Four seconds? Four seconds of um, stalling. So that goes both ways in the plant, post plant situations and in like delaying it like a, a, a push, right? So you lose a lot of delay stalling power. Um, and then the price has been increased by 100, which is fine. It's still 100 cheaper than if you were to buy both snake bites. So this is technically, I guess, technically a buff. Uh, but technically, uh, but not really, because you're kind of losing things for this to be buffed, I guess. You're technically spending 100 less on your util. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's not really that much of a buff, uh, considering the other two changes. Um, charges reduced from 2 to 1 is probably the biggest one, uh, because the thing is with, with the with the snake bite is that it had fragile. So, and basically just depositing the fragile in two different places, or just over two different points in the round, could be really, really strong. Really, really helpful in, in the, like... Um, uh, in pl uh, not planting, what I'm gonna say, execute situations, really, really strong as well in early round situations. Like think about bind with the the, the molly into into garden from market basically on attack, where you could just like control long because you threw that one molly. That one molly is gonna be like valuable now, so it's unlikely that we're gonna, you're gonna throw mollies like that on bind if viper even gets played at all on bind anymore. Um, also the one with like um, when you would brimmel to the showers and then you would put the molly. On the outside of showers for them to get fragile and really running out really difficult for them to run out they'd have to take that tank that molly to run out is that molly still one you want to throw don't know consider it's like it's what well, you get one molly so do you want to use the molly on that um and i think that once again it's about making choices right before you had like a spare molly it's very similar to like the raise nade the double raise nade where you didn't really need to make a choice about the first nade as much and i think that and it made i think in my opinion it made raise players better knowing that they had to make like choices around the, the nade. And I think this is going to be one of those things where it's going to make the Viper players better because they have to make choices around the snake bite they have, the single one they have. Um, so yeah, I do think that this overall is a positive change for the game. Overall, I just think right now Viper is going to feel a lot weaker than she was. Um, so it might really suck for someone that plays a lot of Viper. It's going to suck. Um, but yeah, that's it. So the Premier Change updates, I'm not really going to go over. And I don't think the bug fixes changed much. Um, so yeah, that's it for the for the video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next one.